Hi, I'm Tim Woody, a biologist for Carolina Biological Supply Company. Today, I'm going to take you through the process of setting up a river tank in your classroom. The river tank requires very little maintenance due to its ecologically balanced design. The flow of water provides an oxygen-rich environment for aquatic organisms whose waste products provide nutrients for plants. The tanks are available in two sizes, 20 gallons or 30 gallons. Today we'll be setting up the 30 gallon model. Both tanks come with a submersible pump and hood light. Other materials that you will need to set up your new ecosystem are water, the chlorinator, aquarium gravel, and plants. Today I will be using the river tank plant set. This has three types of terrestrial plants and two types of aquatic plants. So now we're ready to set up our tank. Start out by making sure you have plenty of treated tap water. We'll need four to five gallons. Chlorine gas and chloramines will need to be removed. While these chemicals make water safe for people to drink, they are deadly for fish and other aquatic organisms. To treat the water, simply add the correct number of drops of dechlorinator to the tap water. Next, we'll add the aquarium gravel. Rinse the gravel under running water until the water runs clear. Cover the opening of the hose to prevent the gravel from getting into it during the next steps. Set aside some gravel to use later in the setup process. The river tank has several small holes in the bottom of the form to allow water to flow freely from front to back. These holes will need to be covered with gravel to prevent small fish from swimming into them and hiding behind the form. Be sure to slope the gravel to make it high enough in the back to cover the small holes in the molded resin form. The river tank is shipped with a multi-purpose pump. For the river tank setup, we will only need the cylinder shape intake sieve. Your river tank will also be shipped with a long section of tubing already in place. Slide the pump's outflow into the tubing. It is a tight fit and may require a little effort to slide it into place. Now that the pump is ready, route the cord to the side up and out the tank along the edge of the molded form. Cover the pump with the pump cover. The length of tubing can be shortened to fit the location where you want the pump. For example, keep the tubing longer if you want the pump at the center of the tank or shorter if you want it closer to the side. Our next step will be to add plants to the pockets on the front of the form. It is important to remove as much soil as possible from the plant's roots. This will prevent clouding the water with the soil. To do this, remove the plants from their pots and shake off any loose soil. Soak the plant's roots in tap water to remove any remaining soil and swirl the roots further to remove the more stubborn clumps. Rinse the roots with water to remove any more loose soil. Now the plants are ready to be added to the river tank. Select plants that are a good fit and place the roots into each pocket. Cover them with the aquarium gravel that we set aside earlier. Now it's time to add the water. Gently pour the treated tap water until it just covers the top of the pump cover. Insert the filter into the filter slot. Next, place the aquatic plants into the tank. Decide on a location and put the ends into the gravel, rooting them into place. Now just plug the pump in and make sure everything is working properly. Check that the water is flowing into each of the plant pockets. The last step is covering the river tank with the light hood that is included with the tank. The hood slows evaporation and provides plenty of light for the plants. The plants will need at least eight hours of light a day. We recommend placing the light on a timer rather than leaving the light on 24 hours a day. You should also allow your river tank to run for a week or more before adding any fish or snails. Over time, you will notice the water level in the tank may drop due to evaporation. Check the tank once a week and add more treated water as needed. Carolina has many organisms and kits for your biology classroom. Visit carolina.com for all your science education needs.